From the studios at WBONTV.com, here's what's happening. A group of Madison County taxpayers hope the 6,500 signatures gathered will halt a tax increase that is intended to fund a $45 million jail expansion. The clerk's office will be responsible for counting and verifying the signatures when they are turned in this morning. If the petition is verified, the tax increase will be taken from the county commissioners and left to the voting public in November. Elections are less than a month away, and one controversial subject has been the border wall. Sixth District Congressman Andy Barr told our media partner, WLEX 18, the wall is a national security issue that also affects Kentucky. Our drug control officials and the National Guard uh, are telling us that we need more physical infrastructure to stop the flow of illegal drugs uh, into our country. We had over 72,000 Americans die of an opioid overdose last year alone. Kentucky uh, still had uh, over 1,300 of our fellow citizens die of opioid overdose last year alone. Barr said that he was in favor of the emergency declaration to fund the border barrier. The man shot by police as he reportedly attempted to rob a Kroger pharmacy in Nicholasville has been identified as Brandon Welsh. Officials say Welsh was taken to UK hospital with non-life-threatening injuries and arrested following his release from the hospital. Welsh is lodged in the Jessamine County Detention Center. It's now official. EKU Steve Lockmuller has resigned as athletics director to pursue other opportunities. Former EKU Athletics Director Mark Sandy will take over on an interim basis. For more stories like these, tune to WBONTV.com. I'm Ron Likens.